Bienne. <laughs> okay, Carolina, just to start. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a different situation with playing the lead-in tournaments in the same city as the Grand Slam. How does that affect your preparation? I think it can be good in one point because you have the matches on the same courts and same venue as you play the slam. I never actually experienced that, so uh, let's see. But I think still this week for me is going to be more like a practice week. Um, just we add some matches. Hopefully we can have a little more matches. Uh, I mean, coming into the slam, but uh, I think it can be only positive. Courtney, when you're ready with your question, thank you. Hi, Carolina. Hi. Um, just uh, on the two weeks in Melbourne, obviously coming from Abu Dhabi and everything, what was, it's not the way everybody wants to prepare for, for these tournaments, but what was the focus with you and your team in terms of how you used those five hours? I mean, of course, it's not really ideal because normally I think I would practice much more <laughs> than this. I think for some players, maybe it can be ideal, but uh, and also you have like actually three and a half together. So I would, if I can practice, you know, I would normally do like a space in between and to do like much better two uh, practices, maybe a little bit harder. But I think we used pretty much every minute of what we got on the court and in the gym. And uh we did something in the room even, so I think, I mean, physically I'm feeling fine. Of course, maybe I would love to have more time on the court, but it is what it is. I know some players, they didn't have anything, so um, we just have to take it the way it is. But, I mean, I cannot really say where my level is at now. I think we're going to see in, in the next couple of weeks or days, but uh, hopefully it's going to be enough for some good tennis. <laughs> Was the discussion in terms of how you plan those two weeks and the practices and things like that, um, was it about maintaining a level? Was it about finding a level? Was it about working on things? What was the focus of the work? No, I think you cannot really work on things if you have to still play against one player, you know. So you have to, like, combine uh, whatever she wants to do. I, I was lucky enough. I had um, my checkmate, Muchova, with me. So it was quite fun. And, I mean... If I needed to do something, she was quite like open to do it. But it's still, it's not like you're playing with your coach. I was just able to hit one with with Sasha in those two weeks. So I think it's not really enough to do what you really want to improve. So mainly we played, uh, we played some points. Um, you know, mostly we hit. Um, yeah, so it was just like more getting into the tournament rhythm because I didn't play points really till Abu Dhabi actually was my first points, uh, those matches there, so it was not ideal. So I just wanted to play more and more points, so um, that was what we did. And do you feel sharp? Do you feel refreshed? Do you feel kind of... I mean, refreshed or? is not really an ideal word for like all of this, yeah. but uh, let's say I feel okay. I think there is still this week it's going to be like a, not really a question mark, but uh, I did. I feel like I did a lot of work, so I should be feeling fine. Um, not ideal. I, I mean, for now, in the practices, but let's see what the tournaments bring. And then just with your practices, as you said, you're practicing at the venue at Melbourne Park the last couple of weeks. So what, what, how are the conditions? Does it feel like it always feels, um, you know, we're not there? So is it hotter, cooler? Like, what, <laughs> what does it feel like right now in Melbourne? Yeah, actually, we had, I think, like, two or three days where it was really hot, but uh, other than that, I think it was quite cold to me. I would prefer still a little more sun and a little more um, higher temperature, but, I mean, yeah. I think, I don't know if it's because we are one month actually like later than, than we used to be, but I think for tennis should be okay. And, and just court conditions? Speed-wise, balls, I all feel that. it's the same. I mean, still, somehow, lately in the last year, I feel everything is fast <laughs> somehow to me, all the courts and the balls. So I don't know if I'm getting slower or if the courts are getting faster. <laughs> but, uh, no, I've, I felt good pretty much all the two weeks here. Um, I love it here. I lo it's my one of the favorite tournaments, um, you know, on the tour. So, yeah, so it's good to be back. And I feel the courts, let's say, they are quite similar to what they were last couple of years. And just coming out of quarantine, what was the first thing that you and your team wanted to do once uh, you were kind of released? 
Actually, we stayed a little more in the room, like because we we could leave the room at 10 and then we left around 12 because our practice was like late in the afternoon and they were like the people were shocked, like yeah, you are the last in the hotel actually. <laughs> but uh, we went for lunch just to get some air because also my husband is here and he was in the room for all those two weeks, so finally he go he could go outside, so it was nice and uh, we had a lunch and then we went to practice. So pretty much I didn't do anything yet different than just going to the courts and going back to the room. But um, actually it was yesterday, my first day out. So uh, we had a nice dinner outside and we did, just did some, some walk around the hotel and it was nice. Does it feel different? Uh, to walk outside? <laughs> well, you know, compared to I mean, whatever of course you appreciate, you Czech, appreciate you know? a little more the, the things which before they were, they were normal. Still, I can't wait to go uh, to some shops uh, that's next on my list after getting some practices done, but I have to wait for that. Fair enough. Okay, that's everything I had. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you, Carolina. Karoslav, we'll go next door for you.